produce the energy released in a matter of minutes in Japan. So that paints any argument about heart weapons and stuff into the right perspective. Would, would the powers of be like to have a weapon that could do that? <laughs> Absolutely, they would love to. Do they have one? No. Can they have an influence? Look, a little kid down the beach might put their hands up against the waves and say, look, Daddy, I'm stopping the waves. It's perception. I mean, do they think they can have an effect? Probably. But no, they don't have those kind of tools. That's my opinion, anyway. So basically, the information out there is being used as a fear tactic, so to speak? Well, it, it, fear, fear is the only basic weapon. Yeah. Fear is the most important weapon. I'll give you an example. The people that believe that gold is a legitimate form to save the currency are good people, intelligent people, honourable people. But they haven't been told that the people that own 99.99% of the gold in the world are the bankers, the parasites, and that gold has been used to collapse and refinance and restructure control over and over and over again. It's like watching that scene in The Matrix when Neo goes in there and he thinks he's the first. And he says, no, you're the sixth. <laughs> you think you're the first? Think again. So the same thing happens here. All this stuff about UFOs, alien, harp, you know, disease, I mean, even if it's true, why would you behave like a headless chicken? But 90% of it is just, it's, it's just the propaganda of fear. And what they want to do, what they've always wanted to do is they do not want people waking up to come together competently. The thing they fear the most is competence. And how do you keep competence from spreading? Well, you just keep sending out rubbish, don't you? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's uh, also keeping people separated, uh, you know, as, as they come together and become competent, that's a uh, dangerous weapon in itself against uh, those parasites. Exactly. Um, well, any couple more questions that I'm going to head off, and I really appreciate, you know, all the questions tonight, and, and Terry, you've done a wonderful job as host. Um, oh, well, thank you. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of questions here that just popped up. If you want to take a minute and uh, see if we can get to them real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I see the one. I mean, the question about with more information coming on the Supreme yeah. Financial System, do we just wait? There's plenty yeah. of things that you should be doing. If you're talking about just the Supreme Financial System, yeah. I mean, read. Um, Re-listen to what we said tonight. The history of, of money and its origin is extremely important. It's as important as the knowledge that we've been uncovering on the court procedure and the law. But there's plenty of things that you can be doing in the meantime, and, and that is perfecting your ecclesiastical deed, your claim of right. It's about sharing the knowledge with other people. Um, and it's about if you find something that's a typo, letting us know. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, until these things are perfected, there, there, there is no benefit in in uh, releasing things half-cocked. The, the other question is, Frank, uh, where would you put move from FRN right now? Um, yes, the US dollar is, is being devalued increasingly. Uh, I, would, I would, at the moment, I would believe it or not, I'd put it in Australian dollars. But in uh, a few weeks, you'll be able to buy um, the actual currency and convert their temple money into our money. So that's going to happen in a couple of weeks' time. But Australian dollar is probably a, a good currency out there at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> that's what I would be doing. Uh, how? Well, you, you go and buy Australian dollars. Um, how do you buy our currency? Um, the purchase mechanisms will be turned on. But the reason that we haven't turned on the purchasing of, of, of credits of 
Eucadia now is that it's about getting the philosophy and structure and mechanism and use right first. It's not about um, simply uh, turning on the conversion. I know it's frustrating for people, it's frustrating for me, but it's getting things in the right order. Um, I hope that answers your question, Liberty 2011. Uh, question, travelling without permission. I'd need more information, Deakness, on that question. Um, if you're talking about passports and things, I'm kind of going to run out of time about what it's all involved. But uh, unless you can kind of add to that question, I'm going to have to leave it till next next week. Yeah, that would be um, probably something that we could get back to covering um, regarding travel issues and uh, passports, maybe. Cover yes. that in the next week or two. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, Very good. So, yeah, if I've missed a question, look, I'm I, I'm sorry if I haven't answered. If I've missed anyone's question, I'm sorry. If I haven't answered your question, I, again, please follow up. Thanks again, Terry. Thanks everyone on the call. Thanks everyone who's uh, will listen. And um, and just know that every single day this gets stronger. So thanks again. Thank you all. Well, thank you, Frank, for sharing everything with us tonight, and have a good day. Okay. Good night. Good night, everyone.